We are talking all things Pete Carroll on this edition of Seahawks Today and his future potentially with the Washington Huskies. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let's show some love to the Seahawks legendary head coach as he moves on to this next chapter. I want to make sure that we show some support to Pete Carroll and wish him nothing but the best as he makes his next trek forward. Like the video to show some love to Coach Pete as he moves on from Seattle. We want to make sure we show him the best, and we'll get started with today's show. We begin out of Seattle with, not the Seattle Seahawks, but the Washington Huskies. Some unfortunate news on Friday as Washington Huskies head coach Kalen DeBoer accepted the Alabama Crimson Tide head coaching position, replacing the legendary Nick Saban in Tuscaloosa. The Huskies were in negotiations to keep DeBoer as early as Friday morning, but ultimately he decided to move on and take that job there in Tuscaloosa. So that leaves Washington now looking for a head coach. And within the last 48 hours, there's one name that Seahawk and Washington fans are very familiar with that has joined the potential hot board for this coaching search, Pete Carroll. What about the idea of Pete Carroll, who just found out that he's not going to be back as the Seahawks head coach this week, is in an advisory role with the Seahawks organization? What about staying around in town to be the next head coach for the Washington Huskies? A lot of people are talking about this idea. We'll show you some examples of the rumors that are out there. We start with Thor Nystrom, uh, who formerly works for CBS Sports, uh, or NBC Sports, rather, and uh, with Roto World and a few other places, he said the following, if Alabama hires Kalen DeBoer, what about Washington hiring Pete Carroll to replace him? Then there's Seattle legend, former sports center anchor, the great Kenny Maine, who brought up the idea, says Pete Carroll to Washington then. They always call him a college coach. And then Jason Brown, sports media personality, you know him from Netflix's Last Chance You also brought up this idea as well, saying with Washington now open, does Pete Carroll stay in his house and go back to college. So those are just some of the many examples of people talking about this idea of Carroll going to the Huskies. Pete Carroll was the Seahawks head coach for 14 seasons and now steps into a team advisor role that we don't really know what in entails. Pete didn't have a whole lot of information on Wednesday in the press conference of what his role will be. He did say he's not going to be involved in the coaching search uh, for his replacement. He's going to leave that to John Schneider and Jody Allen and, and company to take care of that. Uh, it, he was very vocal. He did not want to step down as the Seattle Seahawks head coach, that he wanted to continue with the Seahawks team, that he wants to stay in the coaching world. He feels like he has plenty of energy, that he's ready to go uh, to make that next step forward. His record in Seattle was very good, 137 wins, a Super Bowl championship, but the reason, of course, that his time came to an end was that they did not meet expectations this year. This was a team that had a better roster than they did a year ago and missed the postseason and had the same record than they did a year ago. Now, the first question becomes, would Pete Carroll want the Washington Huskies head coaching job? And by all indications, I think if the Washington Huskies come calling, Pete would take that job. I think he absolutely would say yes. You get to stay right where you're at. You take one of the top 15 best jobs in all the college football that's coming off a national championship appearance, that's going to an elite conference like the Big Ten. If they call Pete Carroll, I would be surprised if he said no. Listen to what Pete said a couple days ago as far as his uh, coaching future goes. I'm open to everything, but I'm not holding my breath on that. There's a lot of world out here that I'm excited about challenging and going after. So if that happens, it happens. We'll see. I really don't know what to tell you about that yet. That sounds like a man that's not ready to hang it up just quite yet. So what do you guys think? Should the Huskies give Pete Carroll a call and hire him to be their next head football coach? Why for yes, in for no. Tell me what you think if Washington should hire Pete to be their next head coach. Got a great deal we're offering Seahawk fans now at chatsports.com slash Seahawks hats. Uh, a lot of great hats of different varieties and free shipping for a limited time. So why don't you stop what you're doing, take advantage of this deal, and get that free shipping uh, while supplies last, just for a limited time. Chatsports.com slash Seahawks hats 
is the place to get yours. These hats look great. You're not going to want to miss out on this opportunity and capitalize on that free shipping. Get yours today. Chatsports.com slash Seahawks hats. So Pete Carroll's college resume was about as good as you're going to find when he coached the USC Trojans from uh, 2001 to 2009, was a two-time national champion. Uh, those teams with Reggie Bush and Matt Leinert and company, they ended up winning seven Pac-10 championships from 2002 to 2008, uh, Coach of the Year. Pete Carroll, if he would have stayed in the college ranks, we mentioned Nick Saban earlier, he would have been Nick Saban before Nick Saban, essentially. But obviously, he ended up leaving, went to Seattle, and we're glad he did. Now, I think why it won't happen, if Pete were offered, I think he'd say yes. But why Washington will likely not do this is that I know that Kalen DeBoer was only there for a couple of seasons. But where Washington's at as a program, making this transition to the Big Ten, coming off a national title, you are looking for your next head coach for the next 10-plus years, right? Pete, I don't think is going to coach anywhere for 10 plus years at 72 years of age. Despite, you know, besides the question marks as far as the way things went at the end of his tenure in Seattle and if he is still an elite coach and all that. Besides all that, the number one reason you're looking for a long-term solution if you're the Washington Huskies and that's where I don't think Pete Carroll would get that phone call with the offer because he's not what the Washington Huskies are looking for at this moment. The top candidates that uh, are up for this Washington head coaching job, Ryan Grubb, the uh, current offensive coordinator, uh, appears to uh, be one of the names that's right high on the list. Chris Kleiman, who's done a really good job with Kansas State, won some national championships with North Dakota State prior to that uh, in the FCS level. Jed Fish, got some NFL ties. Uh, with the L.A. Rams, he's done an incredible job with that Arizona Wildcats program. Dave Clawson's name has come up with Wake Forest, and a really good job with them, uh, an elite academic institution, yet they've done uh, a fairly good job. And then my guy, Lance Leipold. You guys know me. I'm a Kansas Jayhawk. Please, please don't take Lance away. We need Lance and Lawrence. We don't need him in Seattle. He's doing a great job with the Kansas Jayhawks. I think Lance is looking like one of the top ten coaches in all college football. I'd hate to see him leave Lawrence, but his name at least is being talked about. I'll tell you who I think is going to get the job in just a moment, but what do you guys think? Who will be the next Washington Huskies head coach? Chat in the comment section and get your predictions in. Let us know what you think. For the latest Seattle Seahawks news and rumors, live shows, watch parties, and more, this is the channel for you. We are your off-season headquarters here at Seahawks Today. We're covering the coaching search. We're telling you what's going on with Pete Carroll. Uh, We're going to be here all off-season long on the trades, free agency, draft front. Subscribe now for free. Doesn't cost you a thing. We got you covered each and every day here on Seahawks Today. Subscribe now. You'll be glad you did. The man that I think will get the job, I think that Washington is going to stay in-house and hire Ryan Grubb, uh, their current offensive coordinator, to be the next head coach and uh, ultimately end up replacing uh, none other than our guy Kalen DeBoer here. I think this job is going to go to him. And and you look at Ryan Grubb, uh, this is somebody that – we, we mentioned, uh, has done a terrific job. That offense was ranked 11th in college football this year in points per game, 36 points per game. Helped lead Washington to that college football playoff national championship game. And just seems like a natural successor, right? And you look at the way they developed talent that Washington offense did uh, with Michael Penix taking a big step being a Heisman finalist this year. Rome with Dunze, uh, looking like one of the best receivers in college football. If you want to keep the ship going, keep the momentum, that's where I lean towards what Washington's going to do. And I got to tell you, this has been quite a week in Seattle sports as it all began Sunday with the Seahawks being eliminated from the NFL playoff contention as uh, despite defeating the Arizona Cardinals, they didn't get the help they needed from the Bears to make the playoffs. Then on Monday, Washington lost the College football playoff national title game to Michigan uh, in a game that was close heading into the fourth quarter, but the Wolverines ultimately pulled away. Wednesday, Pete Carroll forced out as the Seahawks head coach. A very emotional press conference uh, there as he said goodbye. And then Friday, Kayla DeBoer announcing that he was leaving the Washington Huskies to go replace Nick Saban at Alabama. 
So appreciate you joining us here on this edition of Seahawks Today. We'll continue to follow it, see what happens with Pete Carroll. Like the video if you enjoyed today's show. and want to send some good vibes to our guy, Coach Pete. And we'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today. Thank you.